campers. You're watching Mr. Death Breath. I am Ari Lehman, the first Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. Here at Midsummer Scream, Mr. Death Breath, how you doing, brother? I am very happy. I am with the first Jason. I actually right. feel safe because you're the first Jason. You can take ha, them all out. Ha, ha. Okay, well, so. you know what? I've often thought, you know, many people have seen the iconic moment when I came up out of the water and were, were quite scared. Although, comparatively, I'm not a big guy or really intimidating or violent like Big Jason. But ask yourself, Mr. Death Breath, have you ever been as scared as you were in that final scene by Big Jason? Has he ever scared you more? Never. That is such a scary scene. Even hearing the music and seeing you pop out of the water and face skin crawl. Great music by Harry Manfredini. <sighs> totally misleading the audience. So there's a lot of things going on. It wasn't, wasn't just me, but it was a great scare. But I think, you know, there's, sure, Kane Hodder, I love, for instance, the scene uh, in Jason X where he has the liquid nitrogen and he puts the girl's face in there. And it, yeah. Like, very violent and very brutal, but scary. I mean, did it make you jump? It's Kinda, not. but different, different. So, you definitely have the best scare out of all Jasons. Well, thank you. I'd like to be a little Jason with a big scare than a big Jason with a little scare. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so how was your experience working on that film? I think that I had more fun working on Friday the 13th at age fifth, uh, 14, in fact, in 1979, than anybody else has ever had on the set of probably any feature film because I was just a kid and to me it was a totally new experience and it was at a summer camp so it's like the camaraderie of the people just learning so much about I don't know teamwork and they were having fun with it and uh, I just had such a blast Tom Savini of course was I was kind of uh, under the wing of Tom Savini because everything was special effects you know and uh, uh, he had an assistant, Tasso Stavrakis. Both of them worked together on Night Riders, uh, if you know that movie. Yeah. And then, and then uh, yeah, the jousting on motorcycles movie. And then, of course, uh, Dawn of the Dead. Okay. So, um, you know, uh, right after Friday the 13th. So they were in, like, top form. And it was just, how can I explain it? Um, they, being in Tom Savini's uh, studio is like, you know, severed heads and, and, and chopped off arms and, and, you know, explosive devices and weapons. Everything that a 14-year-old loves. So it, it was a lot of fun. And they totally indulged my, you know, being a kid. And um, at no time, except for maybe when they poured, you know, a bunch of alginate over my head. And I actually had to, you know, stay still with, with straws in my nose. And, you know, that was a little... I don't know, uh, uh, you know, maybe uncomfortable. But the experience overall was so much fun, especially the scenes in the lake. For me, it was a blast. You know, people always say, was it cold or something? But to me, you know, I don't remember any of it. I just remember having a good time. And your performance shines. I mean, it's quick, but it's just like a punctuation, like a cold slap in the face, you That's know? That's a very good way of putting it. And it's amazing. So how do you feel about the way the franchise went after you were involved? Oh, well, gosh, um, I, I'm so happy because, it, you know, it kept going. And one thing that you'd have to say is it's very gratifying to me because here we are, low, these 40 years later, okay? And people somehow feel, like, obligated to watch Friday the 13th on a regular basis. I don't know what other movie has such, like, people feel like, oh, like they say to me, oh, I've got to catch up on my Friday the 13th watching. Like, you know, like, like, oh, it's, it's, uh, it's October. It's Friday the 13th. It's summertime. I don't know. My friends are here with beer. You know, whatever it is. <laughs> you know, it's not a deep, thinky movie franchise. It's, it's one that's fun. And I think in every one, if you will, maybe you'll agree, you see reflected, like, the times that we're in. Definitely. Certainly the one that I was in has all this... Like, it might be missed by some people, but there's this, this, this underlying competition between, okay, the townies of Crystal Lake, and then, as we see in the diner, 
and Crazy Ralph and the truck driver, or the uh, the people, the campers, you know, the people who come, you know, like from out of town, you know, and, and the policemen say, we know what you're doing out there in the woods, and, and they're, you know, Officer Dorf, and they're like, okay, officer, and, you know, there's this underlying tension, but you can really feel it when uh, Annie, uh, played by Robbie Morgan, brilliantly, in the beginning scene, she get, you know, he pushes her up and by the tush up into the truck, and but then she says, "You're just an American original," and he goes, "You're just an American original. You kids, your heads are full of rocks." So it's like there's a um, competition there, and there's that underlying message about the 1980s. Definitely. So there's one thing that I'm sure a lot of people don't know about you is you're a music composer. Oh, and you good. also yes. play music, so tell us a little bit about that. I have a band called that. First Jason, yes, indeed. Thank you, Mr. Death Rap. As a matter of fact, yes, uh, First Jason uh, started in around 2009, and we're now on our fourth album. Wow. Our first one's called Jason is Watching, then Heed My Warning, then To Be a Monster, and then the last one is called Lord of the Lake. We just came out with Lord of the Lake. Amazing title. Which I definitely feel is our best album. It was recorded in Chicago at um, Uptown Recording by Rob Ruccia, who works with a lot of big new metal bands. Most, uh, um, uh, probably most well known is Nonpoint. But um, so uh, we just did a video called Kill for Mother. So if you go to First Jason Official on Facebook, just check out Kill for Mother. And also it's gonna be on firstjason.com and on our YouTube channel. But if you just put in First Jason Kill for Mother, and check it out. The interesting thing is um, that video was produced by a team, uh, Kevin Epperson in Chicago. They do TV shows. And he had this idea to put a little boy in this video. The little boy kind of, uh, uh, it's an urban setting because we shot it in Chicago. Great video, I didn't write it. I put it all in their hands, right? But so long story short, the use of this little boy has inspired a lot of kids. So when we just toured, we did St. Louis, Memphis, New Orleans, Houston, and Oklahoma City. I'm seeing all these little kids if there's an uh, all ages event. And so I'm like, what's going on? So one of the fathers comes up to me, he says, no, they took the video, they put it on their home screen. They want to watch it 10, 12 times a day. Play the video, dad. Play. So I don't know, you know, is that the song? Is that the work of Kevin and those guys? Yeah, it's all, and maybe just the kid himself, who's a good little actor. Whatever the case may be, you know, I can't, um, I can't, uh, you know, I'm not complaining because uh, it seems like things are going in, in, in the right direction and I'm very grateful for that. That's awesome. I wanted to thank you so much. You're amazing. It's such an honor and a pleasure to meet you. I'm a big Friday the 13th fan. I haven't showed you yet, but I have a giant uh, tattoo on my arm, actually. Awesome, dude. So. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm a slave right to the series. Right under the cat. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so thank you so no, much like for your time. One of my cats. I really All appreciate right. it. Thank, thank you. you. It's been a pleasure.